Hello and welcome back to Attila Total War with my Saxon campaign. Last episode we were basically killing off the people that did, don't really like our family. We were watching the fall of the Roman Empire in France as you can see, Northern France is it's just collapsing. Uh, we also started to build a uh, burg in Londinium which I think should kickstart that settlement. Uh, I've only got this guy to kill. We actually managed to kill... I can't remember what his name was now. It was a bit like Wolfric. Sulfric? Or something like that. Uh, we killed him. And um, basically we just sent him out to sea and he just got wrecked. So now what, that's one less person that doesn't like us. So I think that should be a good thing. Uh, we've got a son, Edward who is eight years old and in a good, like probably about 20 turns, he should be of age, which is good, because it's another heir, another possible heir anyway. Um, I was also strengthening diplomatic uh, ties with other nations. Ruggians, oh sorry, the Burgundians, we managed to get the uh, uh, defensive alliance with the Geats. We got an actual alliance with them. Uh, the Franks, Langobards and Alamans. We've all got okay relations now. We've got trade with a few of them, a non-aggression pact with some of them. Uh, so it's basically a big Germanic slash Scandinavian alliance now, sort of, or at least big non-aggression pact at the least. So we should be able to like hold off, hopefully. I would like to get some more alliances with them, if possible. Um, and yeah. Uh, I mean, the Romans, they are collapsing indefinitely. indefinitely. Uh, the Almonds have got a big stack army here. I don't know what they're planning on doing. They've been sat there for a few turns. Uh, same for the Angles outside Colonia. And um, we're just sort of sat about. And that's about it, really. Um, I did actually discover some stuff while I've been away. I've been reading up a bit more. Um, there's force details. Now, I never actually knew this was a thing. Obviously, there's general details where you can... Assign skills, see what wife has got. Uh, companions. Didn't. Personal influence. Well from immigration. Public order. We'll have that. I think I need to go around and assign these the things because they seem to be quite good. We'll get that. Because obviously we are. Camel Dunham is like a port, so it should get quite a bit of immigration. Uh, and we've got slits. For Gewis. I wonder how old he is now. He must be getting on. Oh, look at that, we've got artist and research rate for a lot up here. I like Irma, he's been with us for quite some time. Um, wait a minute, did I just see something? Replace this general, oh, maybe not. Uh, did I not? We'll have you with that. Yeah, we can look at what you can do is you can look at false details and you can look at the integrity. So the, uh, the force is actually obedient with us, which is good. <laughs> um, you can have traditions. Now, I don't actually know how you get that. You can even change the emblem look and the name. So um, I think what, I like this emblem here. Uh, decimate. Instill, instill integrity into your force, the hard way, by destroying 10% of the current, current army. I'm not going to do that because I don't actually know what it fully does. Risk doing something that may sacrifice an army or whatever. Um, but yeah, just more. This, they've added a lot more stuff. Off from, I mean, I didn't really play a room too. I did. I had a couple of. What the hell was that? I tell you what, I'm a bit, a bit on edge today because. Oh shit! Oh yeah, because since um. Since this morning, there's just been the odd ban, like, dush dush, like, every so often, and they lost two men. <laughs> well, there you go, you can die now, you bastard. So there we go, we've got no opposition, but the thing is, I know that losing uh, battles actually in decreases power and support and all that, because obviously decreases morale. Anyway, so yeah, there's been the occasional banger. I haven't figured out what it is. It's just been the, the odd bang on like a wall. This someone's been hammering in a nail for like four hours. So it's a bit concerning. 
Killing battle, yes. Goodbye. Polar vision. While walking in the world in the wilderness, and they said builder us like German. Yeah, German, yeah. A young traveller claims that is silver. <laughs> claims to have seen a vision. Good um. Okay. I don't really care. Rank games for Gooeys. Okay. Uh, trait gained. His loyalty. Oh, that's good. His innate sense of right and wrong and trust this man will remain loyal to the bitter end, wherever it may be. Where is Oswine? Can you hear it now? I can hear it. Oswine. Where are you? Ah, right. No, what? That didn't even go to it. Where is Oswine? Did it? That did not go to him. What is that? What is that banging? What is it? It's so uh, weird. Um. Right. I think I'm going crazy. Anyway, I'm going to try to ignore it if possible. What is this? Toggle garrison details. Oh, we've only got that. Um. Pastures. Let's have a look at what troops we can train. I don't want to raise a force, do I? I want to recruit agent. No, I didn't. I want to click on that and then do this. Uh, not spearmen. Not really a lot there. What about in the capital? Same. Oh, we can get catapults. We can get onagers. And Berman. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to get some of these. How much money do we have? Fight for us, lads. Fight for us, lads. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get four units. I'm gonna send them down to to Lifford and to Lifford and or whatever. Yeah, um, I could do with raising a new force, but I, at the moment I'm just a bit still concerned with my with my income. Sacking plus six income, battle movement, uh, naval command. Uh, get that, I'll get that. That should be fine. In the turn. My Hello. people are in danger. Can you not join with us and attack these dogs? Isurimanepe and Nabashia. I haven't even discovered them yet. I'm already at war with like three things anyway. I will do that, but in return, I want a payment of one fuck. No. We're actually really willing to do that, so how about 2,000? No. Of 1,000, then. I'm not just going to go to war for nothing. They need to pay me at least. There we are. Yes. So the thing is, I don't even know where. I mean, I don't know how well them factions are doing. So I don't know if they're any, if they're a threat at all. So I'm not too concerned about going to war with them. If I'm perfectly honest, um, I don't. I don't think it's going to be a threat, are they? Because I'm concentrating in the north. In the north, I could be looking at my long-term objectives. Because what I tend to do on Turtle Wars is set my own objective. Objective. Like, some people will just try and conquer the map, but then the Let's Play can last, like, 60 episodes long, or even more. And it's just like, I don't really want to do that, because not only do I get bored of it... Where's this? Where the fuck is this? The Blood Swarm. Mission issued. Be at war the following faction in Britain. Why... Who are the Blood Swarm? Why are they losing... Oh, there wasn't even in the thing. Why were they not inside the... I don't know. Uh, I guess winter came, so it just sort of... Some taxis can look after the chickens. Ah, we've got new technology. Um, right. Let's have a look. Royal household research rate. Uh, Golden is the chain that ties a lot of wealth and cultural wounds. Hall of elders. Nah, nah. Culture, basket weavers, fair gone slave trader. Well from commercial buildings enables. Um, 
canals, da, 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 da. defined army taxation. We'll get that. Recruitment cost is a bit less, which is always good. Uh, money, four and a half thousand. It's not bad. We managed to get that. The only problem that I have with this game is that you can't send single units off. They've got to be with an actual general, which is, to me, quite annoying. Master planner, what does that do? Cunning. We'll have Eastmond. We'll reinstate Legans legacy. Blood axes. The wolves of war. <laughs> We've already had two bloody armies that have died from the wolves of war. So let's hope this army doesn't die. Um right, so I want these two, don't I? And that. Um, should I? I can't really afford any more because taxes will get, or well, my income will decrease too greatly. Do we have military access through the angles? That's what I want to know. I believe we should do. Sit, friend, and let us talk, and let us have good wine until we can talk. Yeah, we do. So, um, yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna go down to the capital. Eventually, so you're gonna go down there like that and just wait there. So I want to build up a new force and take ransack it and get a load of money. Um, I haven't quite decided what. There's an objective to go to with Britain, this place up here, Northern Wales. However, what are they doing? It's only a little army anyway. However, I don't know how strong Britain is because it is an ex-Roman faction, so it should have Roman technology. And obviously then, oh god, that's a big stack of armies, I think. I don't understand how the Roman Empire is collapsing on this game, because they've got such a big empire, they've got so many troops, they better technology than most of us. I guess it's just over-expansion and public order and stuff. That's the only real explanation. God, my bedroom is freezing. Usually it's boiling. Um... The only thing I can really think of. Trespasser, the children of doom. Ah, right. Yeah, the dupes. They don't really like us. I think I do need to get a, a defence, an army up here just in case because I don't think these guys actually like us, do they? But I want to take out them. I just don't know how strong they are. That's the thing. Uh, if I go into technology, oh, sorry, diplomacy. Apparently we've got a better strength ranking, but obviously that's because we've got troops spread around the world, so they're not all going to be in one place like what they are in Britain, so they're probably going to have a full stack, maybe a bit more troops. We've actually got a lot better troops than most people, apart from the Huns and the two Roman factions, but we are creeping up on the on the Western Roman Empire. When we first started it was only one, wasn't it? Um, so I'm not sure. You, however, need to get down there, don't you? Um, I'm, fi I'm glad we finally got some onagers because we have needed them, definitely. Guerrilla warfare. He's already got some stuff. Um, let's have a look then. How's our control? Still 37. Um, I just don't understand how we can, like, I wonder what age could come of age. I'm guessing it's 18, maybe 21. I should imagine it's 18. So we've got Senrod. He's going to be the next next king. He's the only person that can be the next king. How old is Guis? He's 53. 27 influence. Oh wow, Senrod's got 132 influence. Senrod's actually quite old. Uh, I want to gather support. It's cost us 43, was it, or something? 43 free influence. But if we can keep gathering support for our air, that should be good. Ready for orders. I'll have two on the wolf one. Action attacks is next, because I can see an army coming down. I can imagine one, anyway. Oh, there's a crossing there into France, I didn't even know. Oh, London! 
Look at London now. It's actually been established. Instead of it just being a big ruin. It's very small, look how small it is. Oh, where's that army going? I can, to be honest, I'm hoping the Romans just wipe out the Edenes, because they are such a bastard, let's be honest. I might try and get the Angles to go to one of the Abdanians, although I think they're pretty friendly with them. Although I'm not sure. And they are allied with us, so... We'll see, I guess. What's this? Enemies in high places. Senrod. So, balance of power, Dominion 61, control 37. The opposition party has frustrated your efforts to gather support. Gather the support you desire. We can continue, but you must decide how. Whatever it takes. Plus six control. Minus 20 influence for sen Senrod. Power abuse. Plus six control. Well, I'm going to do whatever it takes. Ah. Although, inf so we've only got 28 influence for Goose anyway. So he's going to have free influence. Which isn't good, is it? And he, but he might only last a few years. We'll do whatever it takes, I guess. Uh, deformation, what is this now? Uh, an unscrupulous rival has spread foul rumours about a member of your family. Give the order and they will be silenced. Wigbeard? Has he done it? Pay him off, ignore. I'm going to pay him off. We'll have to lose a bit of influence. Who's wise? It wasn't him though, was it? Who was it? Wigbeard Fossimer. Was it him? I'm guessing? I don't know. It's 43%. We've increased our our thing though, haven't we? Our control, which is good. Uh, so I'm guessing that's how you can increase control then, just by doing that. Right. This army is going to get into position. Can you, like... No. Uh, right. Let's go back into uh, this. And... I'll have a look at Britain. Strength ranking 29. What's my strength ranking? 4. Yeah. I don't think we'll be going to war with Britain. I am very sorry about that. But... I mean, they're not even at war with anyone. Compared to us, we're at war with 5 nations. I've seen no bash here. I don't even know where they are. Are the Huns really down there? They are quite a lot closer than... than what I thought, aren't they? I think the Angles need to get involved in a few more wars. That war of the Abdin is already, actually. That war of the Huns. We go to all the Romans. friend. What an honour you do us. Come speak so that the spirits can hear your words. Because I mean, I don't like him. Moderate. How much money do I have? I don't know. What if I pay you? I've got 4,000. Pay you that? No. They don't want to go to war. Okay. That's understandable. Uh, we're back up to 1,000 income. We dropped down to 300. So we're getting there. Let's have a look at Londonium. Small city. Was that? Yeah. Um, Ruined building, we'll have to dismantle that, won't we? That's going to cost 6,000 to to do. I can increase Camelot Dunham from a town to a, to a, from a village to a town. I'm going to definitely do that. I want Camelot Dunham. I was going to try and make Londinium, but it's just been that wrecked. I mean, look at how small it is. It doesn't stand a chance, really, does it? I think I'll end the episode after this as well. I'd like to keep them about 20 minutes long, if possible. Um, I might actually try and get some peace agreements with some people, if possible, as well. Because I don't want to... The thing is with this, is especially with the Huns anyway, they can just come out of nowhere. What is this, like, confetti? This purple and yellow confetti that's dropping out. Quite that's strange. Um, I'm interested to see what happens when we hit Chapter 3. And I do say free you wrong, I know that. I cannot say it. I can't free. Free. I say it as in F... Ah, uh, double E to D H I E E. Free, free. 
I just can't say it. It's really weird. Because I'm from Yorkshire, so I don't pronounce this, pronounce this stuff like this. Um, I wonder what year we're in as well. I haven't actually had a look at what year we are in. Macron. A lot of factions. We are in the year 410. Another 10 years. Unexpected political support. Hello. In his attempt to curry political hair, your agent has found support in unexpected places, plus four control. Brilliant. That's good. Um, we are expanding Camel Dunham. Are we not? Yes. And I think we want to be getting Trade Wharf next as well. Should we get Farmstead? Hunter Shrine? I'm just going to have a quick look at this and then I'll end it. Just want to have a look. We'll get that. Fuck it. We'll get Farmstead. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and obviously the Let's Play as a whole. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, suggest me some stuff to do and I shall carry it out. And I'll see you next episode. Ta-ra.